Hey, this is a continuation of that video that decided to freeze up when I was trying to figure out Catholicism. <laughs> Why try to figure it out, Ricky? Because I don't know nothing about it. As a Christian, I need to figure out what's going on. Because there's one kind of Christian, in my opinion, the one who believes in God. I'm not exactly sure why my video keeps messing up and why when I talked about my exes uh, and her experience with Catholicism, which is the only experience I have, is eating supper and doing, uh, we, we drank a little bit of wine, you know, but we lit some candles. I don't know what it means. I don't practice Catholicism. I don't. I, I try to be a good Christian, but, you know, I'm not a nomination when it comes to that. So I just kind of want to figure it out. But somebody... Keep cutting my video short, talking about, we don't like you, I guess, I don't know, man, Bob people, whatever, moving on, says, uh, you are growing in God's family, now God will say I love you in a new way, this takes place at Mass, it is called Holy Communion, boom, uh, this is the second chapter, a sign of love, Doo -doo 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 -doo. says that fruits and vegetables are good, I guess, which is, is, is a good sentiment, oh look, she, 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 she's got a little uh, hamster or something, that's very cool. I love the birds. I like to see their beautiful colors, to hear them sing, and to watch them fly. I put bread out for the birds because I love them. They are not afraid to come and eat the bread I feed them. Wonderful. I like this. Oh, look, there's a kitty cat. Is that a kitty cat? Boom. Uh, is it a dog? It's a dog. Look, it's a dog. Is it? And. Is that milk and cookies? That's milk and cookies. I usually leave that out for Santa. I don't know what it's doing in the Catholic Bible, but, or whatever this is. Anyway. Maria loves her kitten Fluffy. She shows how much she loves Fluffy by giving her milk to drink. Fluffy knows that Maria loves her. After Fluffy drinks her milk, she climbs to Maria's lap and purrs. Juan loves his dog Prince. Juan feeds Prince because he loves him. Prince sees that Juan loves him. He wags his tail when Juan feeds him. Yeah, God feeds you too. And you love your God. Because, I mean, he might not give you milk cookies, but he feeds you. Yeah, I mean, it says that in the Bible. I've seen it. We checking out here. Right, this book is on my uh, list of cool things at the moment. This hairstyle, though, God, you see this hairstyle? Mm, I don't know. It's an old book. Well, when was it made? Hold up. <laughs> it said '81. This Hallmark thing. So let's, let's back it up and see the copyright date. Oh, 1980. Of course, what March 7, 1980, by Cletus F. O'Donnell, J.C.D. Bishop of Madison, and uh. Now, how up thought Joseph P. Higgins, S.T.L. Censor of the Borum. I don't know what I mean. It sounds Latin to me. Anyway. Now, some people say it's all Greek to me, but I don't know expression. Juan and Maria's father brings us all cookies and milk. We know that Juan and Maria's father likes us because he gives us cookies and milk. We are happy. We say thank you to Juan and Maria's father. We share the cookies and milk with one another. Sharing is caring. That wallpaper does. Y'all see that wallpaper. <laughs> That's retro. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so back to the situation. Um, our mothers and fathers love us. One way they show that they love us is by giving us food to eat. We are happy that our parents love us, and we love them too. Look at that. That's food. That was like the food. I, I, I see this. And I like family. And I like family. And I like food. That's a great thing. Oh, we got to look at this food, though. Oh, we just, I, should, I should change it. Y'all see that food? And look, 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 look at the chairs. I see the chairs. That's retro. Look at that's a retro picnic table. And that picnic table, what the hell is it? And hot dogs, and they got every day. All right. Well, that's an old school high chair there. I will tell you what, y'all know what high chairs are? No. Oh, anyway, never. Mind. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. And then page eighteen. A prayer of thanks. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. When I called you, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Psalm 138. Oh, and look, look, it's got a pie chart. Well, it's not really a pie chart, but it has a piece of the pie. If you remove that uh, piece of pie, it looks like Pac-Man. Trust me, I know these things. All right. It says, sharing together. Here's a big apple pie. You can almost smell the juicy apples. Well, it's got people's names written on it. Oh, snap. Somebody done divided this into pie. You see that they divided the pie chart. Okay, see that? They put their names on it. That's pretty cool. I guess that's something to do with the book. Okay. 
You can, uh, with your pencil, divide the pie into pieces. Print on each piece the name of a person you would like to share the pie with. <laughs> Why does me have the biggest looking piece? What's your name? Kim. You should get the biggest piece <laughs> of the pie. That was reserved for me. But I get the biggest piece because that's where I put my name too. Alright. Oh, look at this. Oh, draw your favorite food. Tell why you eat good food. Look, they can't spell lasagna right. It's lasagna. Or maybe that's how they spell it. Look, look at pretty cool. Look at these pictures. They're awesome. And that's food. It says lasagna, pizza, and a hoagie. Look at that hoagie. Alright, good, good, good hand. Good pins and shit, though. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It's got a song in there, too. Oh. Bless us, O Lord. Oh, y'all don't want... Whoa, I can read this sheet music. That's easy. Hold on. Give me one sec. F-A-C... Hold on. F-A-C-E is the spaces. And every good boy is there. Spudge says E. Oh, come on. It's got E major... Or e minor. It's got E... It's got... It's got M, B, M, M, D. Uh, which is E, M, B, M, E, M. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure it's probably a major. I don't know. Minor for major. I don't know how it works. All right. Bless us, O Lord, and these are gifts which we are about. Okay. It's probably got uh, two fourths time. All right. Let's see if I can do this. One and two. And, oh, no, no, no. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I'll be like, one, two, one, two. Bless us, O Lord, and these are gifts which. Look, I can't do time. Right. Bless us, O Lord, and these your gifts which we are about to receive from your bounty through Christ the Lord. Amen. That's the whole song. Oh, I can get this right. Hold on one second. Let me get this. Bless us, O Lord, and these your gifts which we are. Give me, I gotta retry that. Bless us, O Lord, and the. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bum, 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 bum. Bless us, O Lord, and these are gifts which we are about to receive from your bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. Probably not good. Moving on. <laughs> God, man, I'm, try I'm trying here. Right. God shows his love. Food in the wilderness. Once upon a time in the wilderness, God fed a man named Elijah. There was no food in the wilderness, and Elijah was very hungry. God loved Elijah, so he sent a big bird with food for Elijah. When Elijah saw the bird with bread in his beak, he knew that God loved him. Elijah thanked God as he ate the bread. Then Elijah went to tell people about how much God loves us. That was a mashup. Of oh, whatever I can. Okay. Oh, the manna. Oh, I know the story about the manna. Y'all know about manna? He tapped the manna in magic, but that ain't the situation. The manna is like bread from heaven. All right, you ready for this? Mm. Oh, I don't know if I can sing this one. Okay. I always, when I was uh, in church, I always made heavy metal songs out of the hymn books. I'd just be like, well, what was that? On the old rugged cross! And, and it was... Moving on. <laughs> okay. The manna. Here's another story. One time God fed his people in the desert. The people were tired and hungry. There was no food in the desert. God loved his people and gave them food. The people called it the bread from heaven. Every morning the people went out and found the food God sent them. The people knew that God loved them. They said, thank you to God. They loved God because they knew how much God loved them. them. God gives us food because he loves us. We like the bread and the cookies we eat. We like the milk and the juice that we drink. God wants us to have these good things. We say, thank you. God, for good things to eat and drink. 
This is right here. Man, this is, this is, this is a good book. Oh, oh, there's another song. Oh, I just did a song, inadvertently. Finalize it, and the big bird who fed him. Color the picture by the numbers, then you will find Elijah and the big bird. Look, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, hold up. Y'all didn't have enough fucking, um, y'all didn't have enough crayons here. You got blue, green, brown, red, black, and white. Unless you did, you just, hold on, maybe you had enough. I don't see the, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm imagining there to be a yellow. There is no yellow. Where's the yellow at? And what color, did you just draw the eyes on there? Hold up. Hold up. All right, well, they did a good job on this picture. I guess they followed the rules, um, and they did a good job. I might have to fix that for another video because I think um, I can color better than this person. No offense. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Kim. Uh, name was held. All right, the bread of life. Uh oh, oh, this is two four times two. C F G seven C F G. Okay, we're gonna try this one. It's got to repeat. See that? It's got a second verse here. You got you got to work at it. Right, let's try this again. <clears throat> the bread up. Hold up, hold up. If I'm gonna do this, I gotta do this right. Mm. And how do I do this right? We get the Bible. Uh, and we get some chocolate sticks. Now this is gonna be off the hook. Let me tell you. Uh, so I'm about to keep time and sing without snapping. Uh, all right. Let's see what we got. That's four four times. All right. This is the bread of life we share today. The rest. This is the kind of love God gives away. Let your works give thanks to the Lord. He answers all your needs. Our needs, oops. His right hand gives us food to lift your... Ho, 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 ho. Oh, it, see, I got, a, I got a hard time. I got. A, okay, okay. Try again. All right, <clears throat> one, two, three, and four. This is the bread of life we share today. This is the kind of love God gives away. Let your works give thanks to the Lord. He answers all your needs. His right hand gives us food to eat. Our happy souls he feeds. This is the bread of life we share today. This is the kind of love God gives away. Way. Lift your eyes with hope to the Lord in every time of year, for He is good in all He does. Our God is always near, near. This is the bread of life we share today, day. This is the kind of love God gives away, way, way. Ain't too bad. Uh, that, that was the longest song in the middle. All right, move up. Jesus loves you too. Yeah, he does. Well, it says it right there. See? And he's got pictures. There's a picture. All right. Let's see what we got. Uh. Bob and Angelo are cousins. The two boys have never met each other. One day, Angelo and his parents come to visit at Bob's house. They came in the morning and stayed through the night until the next day. Bob and Angelo played ball together. They told each other jokes. They traded baseball cards. At the end of the visit, Bob and Angelo knew many things about each other. They knew these things because they spent time together. Boom! They call that play. Oh, look at those baseball cards. You probably got a Craig nose. Hold up. Hold up. Who is that down there? Hold on. Give me one second. Is that Craig Nettles? I don't know. Who is that? Yeah. Somebody in the comment section that knows about baseball. Boom. These are baseball cards. Oh, man. Too much glut. Anyway. I'm getting sidetracked. Aha! Uh -huh. Learning about Jesus. I look at these they pictures of Jesus and stuff. Uh, boom. That's what that, that's what they think Jesus looked like. Yeah, he got those cool sandals and stuff. He got a tunic, I think. I don't know. We would know more about Jesus if we could spend a whole day with him. 
One way to be with Jesus is to follow a day in his life. A busy day. One morning, Jesus got up and went to the place where people sent their prayers. He prayed with the people and he listened to them read their holy book. Holy book. Then Jesus went to the front of the room. He told the people about God his Father. He said, how much God loves all of them. 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 Oops. The people listened very closely. Jesus spent the rest of the day listening to people. He gave advice. He cured many sick people. Yeah. All right, is that more to store? That, that may be a refrain. Right. Oh, I haven't worn a store. Oh, watch out. Here you go. Hold up. It's going to be a long one. Mm. But it's worth it. All right. <clears throat> What's up, class? He always took time to answer the questions the people asked. I was proud of that. Oh. <laughs> he helped the people if there was something bothering them. Then at the end of the day, Jesus started out for the house of Peter, his friend. Friend. I like, I like whatever that is I'm doing. Friend. Whatever. It probably got some kind of musical thing on. Dinner at Peter's house. Peter had invited Jesus and other friends that to eat. Peter's mother-in-law was going to make a big dinner, dinner, with Jesus. Oh, no. If I can't make myself laugh, then, uh, whatever. When Jesus, Peter, and the others reached the house, they knew something was wrong. There was no smell of food cooking. There were no sounds from the house. Everything's quiet and still. Peter went in to find out what was wrong. Soon it came to Jesus. Peter's mother-in-law was sick in bed. She felt terrible. She could not cook the dinner. She was so sick that Peter was very worried about her. Everybody wore some beards. Look at these beards. I just shaved my beard off, but they, they had the beards. Look at them. That guy got a beard. That guy, everybody got beards. Which is kind of cool. I guess wearing beards is cool. Oh, look at this. Okay. There's that lady there. She ain't got no beard. I've seen ladies with beards, you know. Tying. I mean, they, just, they got them. I've seen them. Anyway, so back to you. Because my ex uh, was Italian. And Catholic, which is kind of cool. Alright. Her mom. Yeah, it's kind of cool, too. Back to the situation. All right, oh, here you go. Jesus went to the sick lady's room. He smiled at her. He laid his hands on her head and prayed, prayed. The lady felt better. Did not feel sick anymore. He changed up. She smiled at Jesus and thanked him. Then she hurried to start the dinner. She promised Jesus and his friends the best dinner they ever ate. Soon dinner was ready. Jesus and his friends were now very hungry. They smelled food cooking. They looked for a good meal. Meal. But just as the food was put on the table, they heard a noise outside. Word had gotten around that Jesus was at Peter's house. Uh, more pictures. All right, let's get it off. A large crowd of people had gathered outside the house. They were blind people, crippled people, and people on stretchers. All these sick people were calling for Jesus to come and help. Them. Jesus was hungry, but he went out to the sick people, people. He went to each person and spoke. He laid his hands on each one and prayed. Guess what he did? Guess what he did? You want to know what he did? You, 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 you want to know what he did? I'll tell you what he did. He cured all the sick people. 
that what Jesus does. He, he cures people. He's a good guy. All right. All right. That's Jesus sleeping. Oh, he, Jesus sleeping. Look at that. He goes to sleep, too. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like my Jesus to go to sleep. That's pretty cool. All right. Now, Jesus was not only very... Oh, well, I, I got intense. Hold on. Now, Jesus was... Okay. Oh, maybe the calls are intensity. Give me one sec. Man, this is a long book. Mm. I could have done this before the other video cut off. But some people don't like me. They just cut my videos off and I can't even talk. They make me sad. Jesus wouldn't treat me like that. Anyway, back on the story. Now, Jesus was not only very hungry, but he was very tired. It was dark now. It had been a long, hard day. Jesus ate quickly and went to sleep. Jesus prays. Jesus slept only a few hours. Very early that next morning, Jesus got up and left the house. While the others were sleeping, Jesus went off to a quiet place and prayed to his father. This was a day in the life of Jesus. Now we know more about him. Now we know that Jesus always helped people even when he was tired and sleepy and hungry. Boom. Says so right there. Jesus helped people. Oh, another song. I'm going to cut. Helping out this week. Jesus always helped people. You can help people too. Think of one thing you can do each day to help someone you love. Draw or write this thing in the space for each day. Monday. Clean my room. Tuesday. Clean the scree house. The heck's a scree house? I don't know. Wednesday. Paint it the front room. Thursday, clean the side yard. Friday, give the bird food and water. Saturday, put away the groceries. Sunday, clean the bird's cage and set the table. Tell why you help others. I like to help others because it's fun and Jesus likes us to help others. Kim gets it. All right, this is Kim, but Kim understands. Uh, if more people understood like Kim, then uh, I think the world would be a better place. Bro. That's how you do it. A plus. Get A plus in the Professor Radnick program right there. Boom. Okay, Lord, hear our prayer. Okay, I think I know this one. Alright. I ain't gonna guarantee you're gonna be good, but I'm gonna do my best. Are you ready? Okay, it's in uh, three, four times. Oh, snap. Alright. One, and a two, and a three. Alright, right. I don't know. Look, I, ain't, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to drum. I, I can't keep beat, but we'll, we'll do something. I'll make it up as it go along. You ready? Okay. In the name of Jesus we pray, Lord hear our prayer, for all the members of your church, as we go along, we may never be led astray, may we never do wrong, in the name of Jesus we pray, for all the sick and suffering, Make them well and strong. And for those who are lonely, Lord, change the sadness <coughs> to song. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, hear a prayer. I forgot that part. Moving on. For all the starving in this world who live in poverty, fill them daily with food to eat, help them to become free. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. It's not over, but you would think it's over because I ain't never done this before. For all the... Oh, I'm, I'm messing it up. Let me try again. Bad, Ricky. All right. For all... Oh, i got to get in the rhythm again. Give me one second. This, this is hard. Making videos hard. I tried to do it right the first time, but... Mm, tablet life. I guess people don't trust me to say cool things. I don't... I'm tablet life, huh? Professor Ricky. <laughs> all right. Back to the situation. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer for all the nations of the world. May war between
wisdom. Jeez. Teach us all how to live in love. Give us lasting peace. Now that's why it was important. Try again. In the name of Jesus we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For all of us who are gathered here as branches of your vine, may we become one body, Lord, and by this bread and wine. In the name of Jesus we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Good book. Ah, the loaves and fishes. Hold on. I, I like this story. Oh, man. The, how much time is it? Ah, oh, it's a good... I, I, I upload time, man. Upload time. I'm actually... I was, I was having fun. I don't know. I got one video in the can of the... Like, it wouldn't have been so long if I could... I, I'm angry. I can be happy and angry at the same time, apparently. Because... I get disappointed in things, you know. It is what it is. However, we're going to, um, uh, I got it. It's page 543. If I make a, excuse me, if I make another video about this, and my tablet will let me, maybe I'll get back to it. So, in the spirit of that, let's pray. Or, no, okay, Lord, I hope that help somebody like you help me help other people please lead somebody to Jesus Christ and help them turn away from their sin in Jesus name we pray amen alright okay we got the letter of Jeremiah I've never read this book the letter of Jeremiah the, the Foolishness of worshipping idols is what the study Bible says. It says, uh, 60. For sun and moon and stars are bright, and when sent to do a service, they are obedient. So also the lighting, which, when it flashes, is widely seen, and the wind likewise blows in every land. Alright, that's what it says right there. That's our, our verse for today. And then over here it says, Additions to Greek, Book of Daniel. We have... Uh, I'm not sure this is just the beginning of it. Although the Eldotian corrected in many particulars the Greek text of Daniel to the emerging proto Masoretic Masoretic is it Mason? Masoretic, I don't know. Text of the beginning of the secondary second century BC, he nonetheless retained all the so called editions of the Septuagint, albeit in a more suitable order for biographic purposes. Jerome's Latin Vulgate followed Theodia, Theodosian, basically, but made the story of Susanna, chapter 13, and the account of Bell and the Dragon, chapter 14, thus inverting the Greek order, as is mentioned in the preface to the reader, the new RSV gives a translation of Theodosian's Greek text of Daniel. Alright, I ain't never read that book. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I don't know. But, and if I work together with other people that know, then maybe I'll learn something. You know, I learn about Jesus, and I try to talk about the Jesus. Yeah, you know, I have a weird way of doing it, but that's what makes me different. That's what makes us all different. But as long as we come together for one good purpose, like loving each other and doing the best thing we can, I don't see a problem with that. Anyway, you don't have to like and subscribe or listen to me or even watch my videos. Just listen to your heart and listen to Jesus. He'll guide you. Have a great day.